Hello everyone, welcome back to the show about the Wall of Flesh. In the last episode, we fought the Wall of Flesh. In the episode before that, we fought the Wall of Flesh. And in this episode, we're gonna fight the Wall of Flesh. And, uh... Yeah, he's whooped our ass like, I don't know, how many dolls have we used? We've used uh, five dolls and four of them he spawned and he whooped our ass pretty hardcore. And then we got one more doll. We got one doll. We, p we found one from a voodoo demon. Uh, so hopefully we could get him in this one. We need to fight him several times, actually. But hopefully this time he'll drop like a clock. Well, he'll, I'll, I'll explain later if we happen to get the drops or we happen to beat him. We're going to beat him in this episode. Even if it involves me having to farm for voodoo dolls for a while. Uh, and then on top of that, I'm going to... if we When we do finally beat him, when we do finally beat him, I'm going to show you what hard mode is and how that works. And that's our plan for this episode. Uh, wall of Flesh and set up for the hard modes and before we freaking trip over that uh let's fill that in because that looks like that could be annoying um i'm okay with one block top gaps uh that's no problem but when it's a two block gap you fall through and then you end up getting caught and then he ends up hitting you and then you do that really weird warp thing in the electric slide and it's a pain in the butt, and I'm not a fan of it. All right, so we're already here. That didn't take very long. It seems like it gets shorter every time. All right, so I'm going to throw my buffs on before I toss the doll, and then I'm going to pick up my doll, and I'm going to toss it, and then we're going to put that on, and I'm going to get my health wing bow, and then we're going to just go freaking ham on him, and I'm just going to jump it back and forth between these two, and then I'm... I'm done with it. He, he's down. He's going down this time. I'm so fed up with having to fight this guy repeatedly, repeated times. So we're just going to be going back and forth. And since we're using the Hellwing bow, what I want to do, is I'm going to try to stay towards the middle since uh, we have a cone of fire anyway. So hopefully if I stay towards the middle, uh, we can start do racking up damage a lot quicker. Um, I'm beginning to wonder if maybe I should have done... Um, what am I trying to say? A little bit more uh, critical damage so we could fight him a little bit faster, but that's all right. We're good with that. Uh, let me use a potion real quick. Uh, yeah, the difference between the restoration potions and the healing potions I've learned is a 49 second cooldown, but we've had the worst luck with those lately considering we keep getting healing potions in the process while we're like destroying pots so it makes things a little bit more difficult to actually use those accordingly uh but it's fine oh hello B bone serpent you're not gonna last very long in this world but uh we're actually doing pretty well uh we're a few seconds away from uh using our next potion which we are gonna use right off the bat uh he's already he's all he's almost down now, hopefully he'll be down so I can explain things a little bit better about things. Uh, we don't want to be down here. We want to be up here. We want to be in the middle. All right, Bone Serpent's down. Um, and, yeah, that's pretty much it. He's getting faster now, too. So let me use my, a potion real quick with my quick bar. And let's just see what happens. And, yeah, he is really getting fast. Holy crap. He is stepping up his game. All right. I'm not going to let you win against me, though. Not this time. We're done. We're... Oh, man. Oh, man. Clutch victory. Clutch victory. Cr clutch victory for him. All right. We are back here again. Um, I'm going to put on this real quick. And that's that hive badge thingy methane. Uh, a hive pack, which increases the strength of friendly bees. And I've crafted some bee nades out of all the high honey or the hive that we got from uh, Queen Bee. So we're going to have to fight her a few more times in order to start getting those back. But um, yeah, uh, uh, this is for Sirius's this time. This is for all the beans in the world. Because I. I just, uh. All right, so I'm just going to. I'm going to toss this. I'm going to eat that. I'm going to throw this here and we're going to start tossing grenades.
we're actually going to stay really close to him. Because I think what we had last time is we kind of ran out of room a little bit too late. So we can fire fast enough. And then I also got my mini shark out too. So hopefully with that, you know what? Let's try that actually real quick. You know what? That melts through him. With the meteor shot. Which means I should have probably used that to start out with. But, I mean, I know it's actually working at least. And they like to congregate in the middle, so. You know, we might end up losing again, but at, at that, I'm just doing science at this point. Um... I'm running. Fuck it. Fuck it. Don't kill me. Please don't kill me this time. Oh my god, we did it. It was a clutch victory, but we did it. We finally did it. Oh, <laughs> he was so aggravated. Uh, you saw me get so mad here. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, my microphone is super crazy. So let me breathe for a few minutes. And then we're going to get our loot. And this looks really cool, whatever this is. This little thingy Ah, uh, water. Where are you at? Oh, holy clutch. That is very clutch. It's like I was down to like my last few hits. I had H HP. Um, these demons are trying to kill me. They're probably going to kill me. I don't mind at this point. It's not like the item's going to disappear. All right. Let's go in here. Let's get our things. And... Ah... Uh, all right, let's open this up. What do we get? Okay, this is the item that I was hoping for. We got the clockwork assault rifle, which is a very, very strong gun. This is going to be replacing our mini shark from now on. And this is going to be the item that we're going to hope from now on uh, we can beat the uh, wall of flesh with. So this is our this is our farming tool until we get stronger weapons. Um, so I'm going to be farming him a lot. And then this right here, this is a demon heart. Um... This is a expert exclusive item, and what this does, if we use this, we get access to another accessory slot. So this is extremely useful for what we are trying to do, and um, we're just going to toss this on here for now. Oh, we're in the middle of an animation, I guess. Uh, we're going to toss this here for now. And now we have a sixth slot, and um, what we're going to hope for in the future is we're going to hope that we can get another one of these emblems which is going to be the uh ranger emblem which is going to increase our range damage of course because it's the ranger emblem so that combined with our clockwork assault rifle which is a three round burst weapon uh, and we're going to be really really good really really good because this gun I, I freaking love this gun this gun is amazing um this is one of my favorite guns in the game actually uh at least it used to be i don't know if they have anything that's better whoa oh shoot we can't kill him uh we don't have purifying powder though so that's our tax collector uh we kind of want him so he can collect money from people um but he only spawns in the in um hard mode but let me explain to you what hard mode does to the world so hopefully the map will show you um oh yeah it, it, no no it's not showing right now but, uh, it says that it releases the world of light and darkness. Uh, oh, well, we got a little bit of it. 
So it shows it released the hollow, which right over here took over some of the crimson, and that spreads down straight to the middle. So we got some underground hollow as well. And then on the other side, the crimson ramped up over somewhere, and then that actually spreads down to the middle as well. So that that's the first thing that it does. The next thing that it's going to do is we're going to actually activate these right away. We're going to head over to our first uh, crimson shrine, crimson thing. And since we got the pwn hammer now, oh, God, I'm losing my voice. Since we got the pwn hammer now, I'm going to show you something. But we're going to, let me, let me put, throw some love into this weapon real quick. Hopefully we get some luck. Uh, speed. That's good enough for now. The sight and clock work. So extra damage and some crit. Um, and then we can show, I'll, I'll show you what, how much damage this does real quick. Yeah, this is good. This is good for us. All right. And now, now we're going to head over to the shrine. So, um, I'll show you what exactly what else we can do and the reason why we want to do hard mode besides the fact that we get stronger on everything. My camera moved. Hi, camera. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, uh, we got stronger crimson. We got stronger everything. We're probably going to die a ton of times now. Blood jellies, new enemies all over the place uh we can get we're gonna get some new npcs i don't know what the hell that thing is i've never seen uh hard mode crimson before so now that we got the uh the pwn hammer we can actually destroy these be gone evil palladium uh mithril and then adamantite so we want to destroy as many of these as possible because if we destroy them multiple t or multiples of these god damn oh he hits a lot um, if we destroy multiples of these, we get more and more, uh, of these ores. And, um, as we break these, we have right Wraith spawn, and they're pretty strong, too. Uh, so we're probably gonna die a few times as this, but I'm not gonna break them. I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna break all of them while I'm down here, because all these Wraiths, uh, but we're gonna break enough of them. So we got this, and that'll be our goal from now on. We, we're gonna want to start making, um stronger armor and the great thing about this armor is uh we could get rid of our necro set uh because uh it's actually criminally it, it's very weak it's very weak at this point and we really 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 don't need it at this point um and then other than that there's some npcs i'm probably gonna go over to the dungeon to find because we need to find a wizard um i don't think we could get the steampunker yet until we beat one of the hard mode bosses but, oh, that's not what I wanted. What did I want? I wanted, um, something. Does she get, do anything new in hard mode? I don't see anything new. I mean, a lot of these um, NPCs are going to be selling some new hard mode things, so. Don't think we're going to have anything too new. Rockets are new for us. And then, does the painter sell anything? No, not really. Uh, um, so yeah, this is basically the world what we're doing uh, what I want though I want to get some of this purification powder real quick and we're gonna go back down to hell real quick we're gonna get our tax collector and now we got our fire blossom box so we have that going for us and I know mr. voodoo man he should be selling something new right no not yet I think we had to be a certain boss for him too but we want we want a lot of things to happen for us now that we got this going so, there's going to be a lot that I'm going to be doing a little bit off camera. Um, maybe I could show you what this ore looks like as we're heading down, if it any of it spawned on the surface. But I'm not that lucky. Uh... Oh, there we go. That's adamantite. Um, we can't mine that right now. Our pickaxe is a little too... Oh, wait. No. That's pal palladium. Okay. So, cool. We can get that. We, we want to get as much ore as possible so we can start getting stronger and uh, use uh, some extra defense so we can fight things a little bit more effectively. And I'm going to be farming for the uh, oh, giant bats, ice tortoises. Oh, God. It, it begins. We have all these new enemies that are uh, showing up right now. Medusa. Ice elementals. I'm scared. <laughs> um... So yeah, I'm going to be farming for 
palladium and I'm gonna show you all these things the cool thing about the way how um this is underground crimson this is underground crimson that's scary the cool thing about um ow the cool thing about uh the underground um or all these extra armors that's what I'm trying to say is uh that now they wow it actually corrupted all that stone down here too that's strange but um the cool thing about it is that they have different helmets to them and each helmet is also an extra bonus to depending on what class that you want so what I'm trying to do uh, what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to get the range helmets because I'm, I'm a ranger I'm, this is the way how my hard mode playthrough is gonna be from now on um, is that new I know no, I don't think that's the new yo-yo. I think that's the cascade still. Um, so, so, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. We're going to do that. We're going to try to stack up all these ranged bonuses. And then we're going to try to get stronger this way. Um, and that's how it's going to be. That's just how it is. Uh, um, so, I think I'm going to leave things off here. Uh, and I'm going to farm a bunch of stuff. So, until the next time, since I've explained everything already, this is Ryu Kuroku, and I will catch you guys absolutely later. Give me a thumbs up, please. Oh, since we finally beat this. This is so exciting. We got a whole new world to explore. Well, I mean, it's the same world, but it's a new world. So, yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Long and outro. Bye, 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 bye. <laughs>